thing's out of control. We've lost it. Uh-uh, I think we're losing it. Oh, crap. Damn. That's it. We're out. It's red stage now. Total loss of direction. I knew this would happen. This thing wasn't made to withstand the duration. I don't think that really matters right now. Well, it will when the big boys find out. And just how are they going to find out? Dr. Forsythe. That seems to be the problem. We've lost all control over Santar 1. Are you telling me it's going to crash? Yes, sir. It should impact in approximately two hours. I see. Have you any idea where? No. Police, please. Metro Division, front desk, Sergeant Yamada here. Can I help you? Yes. Is there a Detective McLemore on duty? Yes, ma'am. May I speak to him? Sorry, he's not here right now. Can I take a message? Partner, scum always right. Just wake up. Get here. Treat. Kill for a bag of Halloween shit. We were assured nothing like this could possibly happen. The facts are simple. Dr. Michelson. 
You know we've been developing something in outer space, a new form of biological warfare. It's not germs or viruses, it's something much more complex. Something that's not only alive, but calculating... Why the well. hell are you telling me what I already know? We're developing a new secret weapon on behalf of the United States government. Your boss, General Randolph. And it was supposed to stay in outer space, Forsyth, not come crashing down into God knows what or where. We're doing everything in our power to locate the exact impact point. We are of the opinion that it will not survive the crash. Let's hope so. And what if you're wrong? We are of the opinion that if it does survive a crash, we'll be able to shut it down. Don't worry. Well, how's it look? Oh, spiffy. Very okay. spiffy. It's much nicer than the bloodstained look. Oh, shit. Robertson. Keep it cool, partner. Keep it cool. Looks like you two have been having an interesting evening. What happened here? Self-defense. Tell me about it. 12.35 a.m., we observed the suspects inside the building. Hold it. A body over there. Does it belong to one of these suspects? Quite possibly. Well, when they came outside, the suspects drew their weapons and opened fire. We returned to fire. I'd like to see this in written format within a couple of hours. Why, well, sure, Captain. Sure. Otherwise, you two okay? Actually, you know... Yeah, yeah, we're fine, Captain. Good. Officer Green? Hand him over. See you two in a couple of hours. I can't. I can't sleep without Bessie. Hey, Macklemore. Yeah. Some weird lady called for you at the station tonight. She said it was important. What'd she want? She said somebody was going to die tonight. And she was right. I bet you've got an arsenal hidden somewhere. Would you let me hold something? At least till we get our pieces back. Jerry, it's been a long, tough night. Besides, it's only gonna be for a couple of days. One never knows what can happen. Come on, man, let me have a 38. 22. Jason, are we going to be here all night? Look, you're the one that wanted to come out in the wilderness and make out like some kind of nature girl or something, okay? Well, how was I to know that you'd be risking my life on a set of faulty tires? <laughs> you could have killed me. <laughs> it's still not too late, sweetheart. This is the last time... Look! Raped by some Martian? You should be so lucky. <laughs> Are you coming? Hey, did you see nothing? Come on, fellas, wake up! Come on, boys, we gotta go take a look see. Go with you. Go myself. Five men were not flying this. It wouldn't have happened if they were. You think we were damn flying it? You think we were flying it? That's what you were supposed to be it's doing. It's crashed, sir. It's crashed. And it's alive. That's sir, I've done it again. Give me that. Where is the damn thing? 
We gotta find it. Get the hell out of here. You're lucky it didn't wipe out an entire block. Hawkins? Yeah? I want you to cordon off that area. I don't want anybody getting through. It's probably already crawling with public officials. That thing lived through the crash. That's amazing. Amazing? Yeah, well, if that thing gets loose. It won't. Leave it to me. That's right, Forsyth. We're going to leave it to you. Thank you. Jesus H. Christ. Got a souvenir. Let's get out of here. Come on. All right, all right. Let's go. Hey, look at this. Thing. Hey, Jack. Look at this. Someone's approaching the object, Doctor. What should I do? Is that one person? No, it looks like two. In the project. Still in dormant mode. Good. It's hardly been touched by the crash. Jason, I'm afraid. It's really heavy, too. Maybe there's something inside. Alive. <laughs> Jason, please. Look at this. There's a small opening. Wait a minute. It's not right. What's wrong? The project. It's waking up. It's bad news. Status. Still dormant, but approaching an active level rapidly. Oh, stop it. I can't. Well, you're damn well better. <laughs> Well, that's it. It's all over. What do you mean it's all over? General, they were designed to kill. That's what you paid all your money for. Designed to kill, yes, but not innocent people. You'll have to destroy it. The hold it. It's going back into the dormant stage. Well, let's wait. It's not going to attack anyone again in this dormant stage. The worst comes to the worst. We can destroy it. Where's Macklem? How's that report coming along, Macklemore? Very good. Put it on my desk.
Can I get you something? A cup of coffee, maybe? I'm sorry to make you Wait, wait, you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's the long hours, I guess. Sorry. You knew? I just started last week. Now, sit down. Sit down. Oh. Rookie? No, actually, I put in two years in Atlanta before this. Oh, welcome aboard, Miss. Sanborn. Carla Sanborn. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My name is, uh... Ian McElmore. I know all about you, Detective McElmore. Well, then, you must work for the Alamo Division. Oh, let's just say that I've, uh... always been interested in legends, especially when they're still alive. Okay. Now, how about that cup of coffee? You buying? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Come on. You're a strange one. Everybody is talking about you. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. What do they say? Oh, just that you're tough and gutsy and very, very good. Oh, wow. And the dispatcher even says you've been in a dozen gun battles and you haven't even been wounded. Now, how would you like to uh, find out if all those great things are really true? What do you mean? How about dinner tomorrow night? My place. You can forget all that other stuff, but I am a great chef. Really? What's your specialty? No, my real specialty is uh, steak. Good. Ian. Hi. 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 Ian, there's this old broad on the phone wants to talk to you. Says she's getting psychic waves or something. Mm -hmm. Why don't you tell her I'm not in tonight, huh? Um, I did. Uh, she knows you're here. Maybe you should talk to her. Oh, look, Jerry, I'm not up to handling any nutcases tonight, okay? I'll get rid of her. Good. Where you going, Maris? Got a call to me. Forget it. We've got a double homicide off Innsmouth Road. I want you both out there, have a look before the lab boys move in and pick the place clean. Go ahead, one. Yeah. I'll meet you out there, Matt, tomorrow. Right. Officer Samber. Yeah? I wouldn't plan on becoming too close of a friend of Detective McLemore, if I were you. Why is that? Most of his close friends end up getting themselves killed. Well, I'll just have to be careful then. That would be a hell of a good idea. Murphy, what's going on here? Get your men moving and keep out of the way of the lab guys. Doc. Ian, wow. Well, the party is complete. Busy night, huh? Yeah, man. And Robin. God, there's Pike. Uh, hi, Robin. What the hell are you two doing here? The captain sent us out to keep an eye on you. <laughs> yeah, he didn't want you nibbling on the victims. Yes. An old drunk reported a crash here a few hours ago. I'll give you a tour. Got, Nate. This is the weirdest shit I've ever seen. It's light as a feather, but we can't put a scratch in this with any of our tools. I may have to bring in the big guys. Oh, well, it's probably one of their aircraft that crashed. You kidding? If this was one of them Air Force spook jets, this place would be crawling with feds right now, and we'd all be getting some snooze at home. So where are the victims? The big pieces are over in the body bags. How many victims were there? Two teenagers. We think. Were they in whatever it was that crashed here? Yeah, McLemore. They were driving it. Boy, I'll bet his dad will be pissed when he finds out he wrecked it. You're the detective. You figure it out. Well, good evening, Captain Robertson. What is that? I wish I knew.
Sacramento. Anybody got any idea what went down here? That's the $50,000 question. Pike's been giving us the meat wagon tour. It's your turn now, Captain. Funny men, huh? Very funny. This is some double homicide. McLemore, I'd like to see you and Maris in my office by noon tomorrow. You want to see something really weird? Come here. Uh, what is this? That's what we've been trying to find out. Seems to be the only thing in one piece around here. What is it exactly that you do with the rock? This rock, as you call it, is organic. By that, I mean to imply that it's made up of living matter. Are you saying that it's alive? In the strictest sense of the word, yes. Simple. The rock did it. Case closed. Throw this rock in jail. <laughs> its connection with this, this case is uncertain. However, it's unusual enough to... Warrant a thorough investigation. Well, good. Let us know how it comes out. We're splitting. Yeah. Hey. Come here. Do it. Come here. feeling about this one, partner. Hey, hey, here's another one. Kid, we ought to butt out, man. Let's take him home. Do a little investigating on our own, huh? Here we go with that lone wolf bullshit again, Macklemore. Let's get out of here before somebody spots us. Come on. Ready to go? I sure as hell am. Take that thing back to the police lab. I can't do anything more with you here. Don't worry, Doc. Someone is moving the project, sir. Damn it! It's already killed two people. It's back in the dormant mode. But beyond that, I don't know what to do. Well, I do. Get Forsyth in here while there's still time. All right, get Forsyth. Yes, sir. I hope you know what you're doing. All you have to know, Michelson, is that I give the orders around here, and your project is wiped. New developments? The best yet. I want you to destroy that thing. Are you serious? I'm giving you your orders, Forsyth. Perhaps it's best. Shut up, Michelson. All right, you want it destroyed? Bid on your own head. But it'll cost the program millions of dollars. Save it for the inquest. Just you push the buttons. Okay, I'll do it. Just leave me alone here, okay? Okay. Just make sure you push the right ones. The right ones. I can, I will. Unable to make any abrasions on the outer surface with surgical knives. The matter is extremely durable. There seems to be no seam or visible means of entry into the object, suggesting that it may be a solid mass. The damn thing has me completely baffled at the moment. 
I'm going to try something. I'm going to apply hydrochloric acid to the surface of the object. Where the hell are you? Here. It's 1 30 in the afternoon. What the hell's going on? Look, you're late. And Robertson's throwing a fit. So what? On official probation. I want to sleep. Listen up, Ian. Rogers is dead. He was literally torn apart right under our very noses. Wait a minute, a lab guy? And guess what else? Shock me. The big brown thing is gone. Look, you better get down here right away. <sighs> All right, all right, I'll be right there. Oh. Your mother on the night desk swears no one entered the building during his shift. Anything else? Rogers apparently was recording his findings. Played the tape back. All we got was unintelligible garbage. Here's the report on the metal found at the murder site. The tests indicate that it's an unregistered alloy. What's an unregistered alloy? Well, it's not made up of any substance that coincides with our testing apparatus. So we're sending a little piece of it down to UCLA Research Center because their equipment is a little more sophisticated than what we have to work with. Thank you, Dennis. The eyewitness is about to be released. I'd like for you two to have a talk with him. I think we ought to go back and have a look at that accident site. I don't care what you do, as long as I get results. All right. Yeah. Sure, boys. Uh, I'll tell you. My nerves is kind of shot. I mean, you'd be jumpy, too, if you'd seen what I seen. Spaceship. No, no. I never said it was no spaceship. No, sir. Uh, it was uh, a UFO. A what? A UFO. What is that? Some kind of a new foreign car? Ian, a UFO? Oh, like UF... UFO. I done told you that. Well, tell me again and try to remember exactly what it looked like. Come on, buddy. Think. I'm thinking, Sonny. I, I am thinking. Drink. Yeah. Are you thinking? Good. Now, come on, tell us. What did it look like? An airplane? A rocket? A Mercedes Benz? No, it was a Cadillac. A giant Cadillac hubcap uh, on fire. Bright light. I swear it. Uh, 
This is my own hooch. Yeah, I know. Come on, Jerry, get him out of here, please. Come on, buddy. Let's go. If anything real comes to mind, you let us know, huh? This area is restricted. I hope. By the United States government. Official police business. Those badges don't mean anything here. Jerry, do you smell something? Ah. Smells like the old government cover-up. I'm fully authorized to shoot anything or anybody who appears to be a spy for a foreign government. And right about now, you boys are beginning to look a little red. I'm going to count to three. If you're still here at the end of my count, the United States government is going to be forced to take full possession of your bodies. Come on. <laughs> One. Oh, shit, this zombie means it. Come on, let's get out of here. Two. McLemore, come on, don't fuck around. Let's go. Three. Ian. Want to take a ride? Ian, come on. Look, look at this shit, man. All let's right. get out of here. What's your report, Hawkins? We just had a couple of cops over here. I think they were checking out that crash last night. To lock up the area, keep security in place. I did, but they might be persistent. Well, take it up with the local authorities. Sit on them, stand on them, whatever it takes. Yeah, whatever it takes. a lot better if I had my gun. Oh, man, don't be such a wimp. Come on, man. I still feel comfortable being unarmed. You know what they say about guys that uh, can't go anyplace without a gun, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> 
You know all that bullshit about it being an extension of your thing? That's right. <laughs> I tell you what, partner, just between me and you, I enjoy all the extensions I can get. James Ridley, 1822 North Federal. This will uh, pay him a home visit. See if Mr. Ridley or any of his relatives have been through a meat grinder recently, huh? That's good. I'm starved. Let's get something to eat. By the way, Jerry, I've got a dinner engagement with a young lady tonight, so you're on your own. Yeah? New talent? Well, actually, it's the lady cop you saw me with in the coffee shop this morning. You sure you can uh, handle that all alone, partner? A lot of good you'd be to me. Uh, unarmed and all that. Is there a James Ridley here? My husband is dead. He died two months ago. Sorry, ma'am. Sorry about that. <laughs> well, don't worry. He's having it a hell of a lot easier where he is than I am here. Are you police? Oh, God, something's happened to Jason. Now, was your son driving a 1976 Buick station wagon registered to your husband? Yes. Was there an accident? Well, we're not quite sure. We found his car in uh, woods outside of town. It had a flat tire, and it was up on the jack. All right, well, when you see Jason, all right, you tell him to fix the damn car and to get his butt home. Look, why don't we just have her come down and identify the body? What body? Okay, ever since we ran into that MP roadblock, I'm telling you, we're on to something big, Jerry. I mean, big. Who'd want to kill a couple of teenagers like that? Nobody killed those kids. I mean, nobody that we can arrest, anyway. Ian, what are you, what are you, what are you saying to me? Well, look at the facts. Remember the other night that, uh, that weird thing crashed out there? Yeah. Okay, you got two kids torn apart. Some bum says he sees a flying saucer. Rogers gets killed by some powerful son of a bitch right here in our own station. I mean, it's not exactly your standard uh, assault with a deadly weapons charge now, is it? Look, why don't we just turn in our findings and get the hell home? I mean, Robertson is dying to bust our asses as it is. Hey, come on, let's give the guy a break, huh? Since when did we ever let Robertson get in their way, huh? Since never, Ian, and that's our problem. We never follow the code. Your reports are never on time. Come on, we break the rules all the time, and we're constantly mouthing off to the guy. We're also two of the best guys he's got on the force, too. And we can be two of the best cops he had on the force. Hey, Susan. I got something for you to play with yet. Sorry, I got your phone number last week. Oh, come on, I'm serious. How about running it through your computer and see if it matches up with those prints of those two kids that were killed last night on Innsmouth Road, would you? Here, fill this out. What's this? Access forms. Access form For what, that? You two work fast. But that's the reputation. Yes. Yes, sir. Your presence is requested in Captain Robertson's office. Pronto. Great. So much for our quick getaway, huh? Well, let's go brighten up his day.
Fine, I heard you the first time. Well, good news, Captain. We've got a couple of leads for you. Keep them to yourself. It's been ruled an accident. An accident? By whom? You're off the case. Off the case? Your hearing is improving. You're not going to let him railroad us out of this case, are you? He's got a point, Captain. I mean, Rogers was one of us. I'm not particularly happy about what happened to Rogers, but what's done is done. What the hell are you going to do about it? Nothing. Nothing? There goes your hearing problem again. Don't force me to make your temporary suspension real permanent. Yeah, no, wait a minute, Jerry. You can't take us off this case. It's too big. McLemore, I do it by the book. That's why I'm captain. And you are suspended. Now get out of my office. Has any of this gone through yet? No. Uh, no, no. I was just getting started. Don't. Yes, sir. Forsyth! You son of a bitch! Take it easy, General. Easy my ass. I just got a call. Those things are still alive and they've killed more people. Look, I don't know what went wrong. I entered the destruct code. It must have malfunctioned or something. Oh, there's a malfunction, all right, but I don't think it's in the computer. And look, if the code isn't working, maybe we can locate it. Hold it till we can pick it up. How do we find it? It's back on the monitor, and we've almost got it now. There it is. <laughs> Looks like a warehouse or something. Yeah. Good, at least it's in an industrial area. Give it an order to self-destruct. I will, but there's no guarantee it's going to work. Sir. This is Elaine Wentworth. I know what's been happening. Happening? What's happening? Last night, something came from the stars. Something more terrible than death itself. And it's right here, now. What makes you say that? I have certain powers from the superconscious mind. What I'm trying to tell you is that I'm aware of the forces that conflict in the cosmic norm. Oh, I get it. You're the lady that's been calling the station, right? Yes. And nobody will listen to me. I'm terribly sorry about your co-worker. How do you know about Rogers? That information hasn't been released yet. I think you should believe me. You should believe that I can help you. Now, people are going to die if you don't let me help you. Well, you can help me by staying out of my hair, Miss... Uh... One more thing, Mr. McLemore. Sure, go ahead. Your stakes are burning. Quite a dinner. Mm -hmm. To us. To us. Just don't forget my burger. How could I? It's not every day that a girl gets invited for a gourmet meal. Listen, these are the finest burgers in the world. I had them flown in for you at best. <laughs> You're so romantic. Um, would you like to hear a little uh, after dinner music? I think that would be very appropriate. Okay.
ever say. <laughs> They're all Scots around here. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Is that supposed to make me want to dance? <sighs> no, it's supposed to make you want to take your clothes off. How is that? How is that? That's the only thing that'll make me stop playing. Hmm. Now what do you do when you stop playing the bagpipes? I don't know. Never worked before. Did now. You. Oh, yeah. Can I ask you a, a kind of personal question? Sure, yeah, what is it? How close are you to solving these murders? I thought you were going to ask me if it was my first time. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you can level with me. I mean, we work for the same boss. Boss? My boss is the street. Who's yours? Why, well, you're a hard guy, aren't you? You ought to know. What's that? What? That. Well, that's something that uh, Jerry and I found at the crash site last night. You know what it looks like? What? A roach egg. Big, ugly-looking roach egg. You know something? Right. It looks like a giant roach egg. Come on, let's go. Where are we going? Come on, we're going out. I got an idea. God, talk about hit and run. I think you should at least explain why we brought me down to the middle of the night. I got a friend that works as a researcher in a bug control lab. I'm going to take his spine and let him take a look at it. See what he thinks. Well, there's one thing for sure, Macklemore. You sure know how to show a girl a good time. Hey, Professor. Come in. I'll be with you momentarily. Ah. Detective McElroy. McLemore. Yes, of course. How are you? I'm fine, Professor. I'd like you to meet Officer Carlos Sanborn. Hello. Very pleased to meet you. Well, Doctor, uh, Detective McElroy, what, uh, Brings you back here again. Another unhappy spouse using Black Widow spiders? No, Professor, I'm afraid not. I want you to take a look at this thing. <laughs> what have we here? I don't know. What do you think? A giant roach egg? It would have to be an extraordinarily large member of the Vatella order. Extraordinarily large. Okay, how large? I mean, this high? Or what? It's impossible. Okay, well, let me hit you with something a little further out. I don't think this thing is from this planet. Extraterrestrial? No, from outer space. I know it sounds crazy, but there's a lot of weird things have been happening around here, and I think that thing is the cause of it. Why don't you just uh, bust it open and see what's inside? You think that's wise? I don't see that you have any other alternative, Doc. Hit it harder. Wait a minute. I've got a drill in the back. That should do it. Okay. 
Is this actually what you do in your spare time, or is this a, a special occasion? I don't have any spare time. Ah, oh, 24-hour day company man? You could say that. So this actually means that you were on duty earlier when you were in bed with me? Well, I would call that working undercover for the vice squad. <laughs> <laughs> this should do the trick. Go ahead. Looks like he's letting off a little hot air. I don't know if this was such a good idea. Jesus Christ, what the hell is that? Call an ambulance. I can't. I can't move. Will you snap out of it and call an ambulance? This guy's gonna die. Now do it. Operator, give me County General. Yes, it's an emergency. Hold it, boy. How's he doing? I wouldn't push him. Doc, can you hear me? Listen, what kind of gas did you use in the terrarium? Just special combination. Of some very lethal gases. Do you have any more of it? Jars. Uh. Take good care of him. Right. Of those pods did you find? Jesus Christ. Jerry took one of those pods home with him. You're mad. You're trying to kill us. Look, you wanted to be a cop. You got to learn to drive fast. Take some chances with your life, you know? You're insane.
Gary, you here? You okay? No. Stay here. I'm gonna kick some monster ass. Oh my God! Ian! What are you doing? Ian! What are you gonna do? I'm going monster, honey. Where is it? He's in the kitchen. We borrow the bed. Good evening. You'll be right back. that thing? Look, lady, if I were you, I'd get the hell out of here.
Yes. It's for you. It's a woman. Who the hell is this? I'm sorry about your friend. I really am. I tried to warn him, but he wouldn't listen to me. Now listen, I'll help you find that thing that killed your friend if you let me. Talk to me! Seek out and destroy the parent creature. It's bigger than the one you encountered tonight. And do you know where it is? It's in an alley. Arkham Alley? Markham Lane. I see warehouses. Look for it in a very dark place. How do I kill it? Killing is your business, sir. Not mine. Yeah, right. Anything else? Be careful. No shit. How's the shoulder? My shoulder's fine. It's just that my nerves are shot. What are you doing? What about me? You want a gun? No. I'm going to wrestle him to the ground, and you're going to shoot him. Of course I want a gun. I'm a police officer, remember? Uh. Just give it to me. Better check it. Not very confident, are you? There's some shells in that backgammon case right there. Are you going to do this alone? No, I've got you, right? Don't you think we should ask for a little backup firepower? Well, what do you want me to do? We'll call and say, send down a couple of squad cars. We've got a monster from outer space cornered. I see what you mean. Besides, I've got a score to settle. Revenge motive. I keep forgetting. Tough and gutsy, huh? What are we going to do? Invade Angola? Look, let's just go to Arkham Place. And don't ask me why. What? Going somewhere, Macklemore? The hell do you want? Ever since I run you off that crash site, you've been snooping around. I don't like getting the brush off. I can see that. You've been doing pretty well by yourself. There's one thing I want to know. Where is it? It? Don't fuck with me, Macklemore. I don't know how you do it. But you've been trailing that thing. I want to know where it is. Look, I want it. You want it. So why don't we get together and kill it, huh? Oh, nice. But I don't think my boss would go for it. Ian, who is this guy? Shut up, lady. Excuse me? Put it down. Easy now. You make it a big mistake, buddy. All right. You just turn around and walk that way. Let's go. Hold it right there. Open it up. Easy. Okay. Come on, come on. Search him. Okay, hop in. Get in! I'm telling you, it's my best suit. Shut up, Sarah and I. Let's go. Will this night ever end? Hawkins, come in. Hawkins, come in! Come in! God damn it, where the hell are you, Hawkins? We've located the project, and you've got to get over there immediately! Hawkins, come in! Come in!
That came in a little while ago. Macklemore killed it, whatever it is. you find McLemore yet? No, sir. Still no word yet. Send a car over to his house and keep trying that radio. Yes, sir. I know you're in there. Come on. Get out of there. Come on, kitty, kitty. Get the hell out of there. Oh, well, there you are, cat. Now, where have you been? Come on over here. Come on. Okay. You said at the last six warehouses we went to. What's that? It's a calling card, I think. So this is the place, huh? I guess we just got lucky. Call Robertson, have him get some backup down here. I thought you wanted to do this alone. I do, but somebody's got to come down and clean up the mess, because I'm going to make a big one. What about moi? I want moi to stay here, keep an eye on things. And if I come running out of that building, I don't want you to blow me away by mistake. Yes, sir. Officer Sanborn. I'm with Detective McLemore, 4600 Hampton Street. Send a couple of cars right away.
tell me, uh, Officer Hansen, uh, can uh, this thing, in fact, go any faster? Not without endangering civilians, sir. Well, let's endanger a few. Yes, sir. Real good, Hansen. worrying about me. I gotta get you the hell out of here. Now, I've got some business to take care of. Now, go on. Hanson, take the left side. Lavender, stick him out. Jerry's house. Yeah. Well, imagine that. Fifty times bigger and pissed off. Thank you. 
have the right to remain silent. back there. 